Okay, uh, well, we now um, are turning to our keynote uh, speaker. I um, am delighted that this year we have the opportunity to hear a global perspective. We've been focused in the morning on our regional concerns and our local concerns. At the Bay Planning Coalition, uh, we aspire to also bring in big ideas into the conversation, to think about our position not only as a region, but as a region within California, within the United States, but also globally. And we know that California plays a critical role not only in uh, the United States economy, but also in the global economy. In fact, I think we all heard recently that the uh, the economy in California is now the fifth largest in the world. It has surpassed Great Britain. Uh, that's something to, to consider, to ponder. Uh, so it is my pleasure to now introduce the Deputy Consul General of the People's Republic of China, Consul General Fa Xiang, who will join us uh, at the podium. Just a few words about Consul General. Um, he's currently serving at the uh, consulate in San Francisco. In addition to his position as Consulate General of the People's Republic of China in San Francisco, Mr. Fa Xiang served as Vice Counsel for the Consulate General of the PRC in Chicago from 1999 to 2005. <clears throat> he also served as the Deputy Chief of Mission and Political Counselor for the Chinese Embassy in Sri Lanka. Deputy Consul General Fa Xiang has extensive experience at the Department of North American and Oceanian Affairs, Ministry of Foreign Affairs of China, and has held positions as a U.S. Affairs Officer and a Deputy Director. Uh, he is from China's Shandong Province, where he graduated from Shandong Teachers University and the Foreign Affairs College in Beijing. So with that, I'd like to welcome Deputy Consul General Fa Xiang to the stage. Thank you, Rita. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Richard, uh, and also Vice President Bill uh, and CEO uh, Coleman, yeah, thank you everybody. Uh, at lunch, I eat a little because uh, as a speaker, uh, if you eat, eat too much, you will go too sleepy. <laughs> uh, it's my second term to be posted uh, in the United States. Uh, nearly 18 years ago, I was, uh, my first uh, foreign post is uh, in the Windy City, Chicago, yeah. There is, uh, has four seasons. So my second post is uh, Sri Lanka, uh, the tropical island. Uh, there is no winter. So here, uh, I was posted here in San Francisco that uh, there is uh, uh, only in spring and autumn, I believe. So that's the human uh, resources. Uh, person posted uh, a diplomat to different weathers. Yeah. Uh, as mentioned uh, by the president, uh, I would like to congratulate California to surpass Great Britain in GDP. Uh, last year, 2.7 uh, trillion US dollars, ranking the fifth, the fifth largest world economy. Uh, I'm joking, some of my friends that California uh, can join the uh, Security Council of the United, of United Nations. <laughs> That's the joke. Yeah, California did a very good job, uh, and China is your partner. Uh, as mentioned, uh, we, saw, we saw so many friends uh, from the port of uh, Oakland, from uh, International Airport, uh, uh, of San Francisco uh, and also water district uh, consulting companies. Uh, as I join the table uh, of the coalition, uh, I believe uh, 
the successful story, uh, the big successful story of the economic development of California. Also, the big uh, plan coalition play a role uh, because uh, you see uh, over so many people so from community, uh, including community leaders, uh, elected officers and companies working together uh, to consult uh, to reach agreement uh, how to uh, develop this area. Uh, that also remind me that uh, China and the U.S. are the members of a uh, uh, small global village called the Earth. So if uh, China and the U.S. work uh, as well as all friends here, the world will be a better place uh, to live, absolutely. And also, uh, President mentioned that uh, there are three graduates uh, from Berkeley. Your education also very good. Uh, one, uh, every, uh, in one of the three uh, foreign student, international student, uh, in three uh, international uh, student here in the US, there is one from mainland China. But uh, uh, 40 years ago, when the diplomatic ties uh, established, uh, there are no Chinese students uh, study here. So we learn a lot uh, from the US. And uh, every year, you pick up the top one or three graduate Chinese uh, students here to uh, work in the top uh, uh, companies uh, and the research institute. So it's, uh, that's uh, also a cooperation between our two countries. Uh, the topic assigned to me is talk about uh, the uh, U.S.-China trade. And you know that uh, uh, recently uh, there is a possible trade war initiated not by California, but uh, in Washington. Not <laughs> in Washington, not here uh, in the uh, West, West Bank, but uh, in uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, we can uh, it is uh, the U.S. people to choose their president, uh, but China has no choice. We try our best to, to cooperate with every of each of your president. Uh, I have uh, joined the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for uh, 22 years, except uh, three and a half years in Sri Lanka as deputy head of mission. I focus, I devote my uh, heart and work in promoting uh, the most important bilateral relations, that's US-China. Uh, so uh, we are cautiously op op optimistic that we can avoid the trade war. Of course, we need your help. Uh, why uh, we are cautious, optimistic? Because uh, uh, look at all the figures. 40 years ago, uh, the U.S.-China trade is only uh, 2.5 billion U.S. dollar in 1979. And the last year, the figure from Chinese side is uh, 500 and, uh, 583.7 billion U.S. dollars, increased uh, by 233 times. So we keep... Uh, Port of Portland busy and Port of uh, uh, Long Beach busy. We are happy. Uh, and also keep the, the United Ireland busy. Uh, and also in terms of people-to-people uh, -people exchanges, uh, 40 years ago, there are very few. Every year only a few thousand, uh, uh, many of them the government officers to visit the US. But right now, last year, uh, over five uh, million Chinese Americans visit uh, uh, each other's country. Uh, and every day, there are 20 commercial flights, direct flights from California alone to eight uh, uh, Chinese cities, Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, Chengdu, even the second line city, Chengdu, uh, and Xi'an, and, and others. It's good business for uh, United and many Chinese islands and all good business for 
uh, not only for San Francisco Airport, but also for Auckland, the, for San Jose. The first international uh, commercial flight is from uh, the San Jose Airport. Uh, from San Jose, uh, San Jose Airport is to China, to, to Shanghai. Uh, and also climate uh, exchange, uh, which is uh, the, one of the topic of uh, today. Event, uh, we are your good partner. We know that uh, President uh, uh, Richard uh, used to visit uh, China, uh, Shanghai. Uh, he is a member of, uh, and Shanghai also a member of uh, uh, Pacific uh, Port Clean Air uh, Coalition. Uh, he just mentioned to me. Uh, although the U.S. Of federal government withdraw from the climate change uh, uh, Paris Agreement, but China. Uh, still stood with uh, California, uh, with all the other countries. We uh, are a partner of everybody to counter climate change, uh, sea level rise. Uh, we also uh, face uh, in, in China the coastline. Because uh, you know that because of the size of uh, our trade, uh, uh, the top seven uh, seaport of uh, uh, the, the top 10 uh, seaport in the world uh, in terms of uh, capacity, uh, seventh is located in China, uh, Shanghai, Yangfu, and others. Uh, and also, uh, in terms of uh, tourists, tourist, uh, uh, you know that uh, our consulate general uh, covers five uh, states from uh, uh, Alaska to uh, Washington, uh, Nevada, uh, and Oregon, and uh, uh, 48 uh, counties of uh, Northern California. Uh, we have another consulate general in uh, Los Angeles, take care of Hawaii. Yeah, we hope we can take care of Hawaii. <laughs> but Alaska is also a good choice. <laughs> Alaska, is because, uh, our function is uh, to, to promote trade, uh, economic, uh, Cooperation, uh, cultural exchange, science and technology uh, cooperation. Uh, so uh, we issue ten-year visa to everybody. Uh, if you are pr so every morning there is a long line. Uh, so I'm a little confused that when I uh, first uh, arrived in San Francisco. Uh, since we issue ten-year visa, where why there are so many people apply? Uh, the visa officer told me that uh, even you will because your country is attractive. Uh, I see that uh, so many people want to do business uh, with uh, mainland China uh, with a population of 1.3 billion uh, people. It's a large market for, for everybody. When China buy anything such as uh, Alaska seafood, so we buy a lot. We are the number one uh, trading partner and uh, ext external market of uh, four of uh, or uh, uh, three of our five states, Alaska, we, we are the largest buyers of uh, their seafood and uh, uh, deep water sea. Uh, nearly ten, uh, nearly one billion U.S. dollars, uh, and also Washington, uh, Washington State, we buy a lot of uh, Boeing aircraft. Uh, one fourth of all the Boeing aircraft. Uh, were bought by uh, mainland China. Uh, and also, uh, we buy a lot of uh, uh, California wine. We know that uh, in the past uh, five years, yesterday I visited the, the Wine Institute, and the CEO told me that uh, uh, China market, including uh, Hong Kong, grew rapidly. So uh, last year, uh, the number of uh, world volume is uh, one point uh, one hundred and fifty million uh, U.S. dollar export to mainland China, uh, and uh, also even larger to to, to Hong Kong. So uh, totally, uh, we bought uh, sixty-two percent of all the soybeans produced 
uh, exported by, by the U.S. 17% of uh, automobiles exported by the U.S. 15% of uh, semiconductors uh, products and 16% uh, of uh, cottons, 60% uh, of cottons. Uh, nevertheless, to see that uh, Starbucks opened uh, uh, 2,800 uh, Starbucks uh, in China, beginning from 2009, and their uh, expectation is the 2020, there will be 5,000 Starbucks in China. That shows how open the China market. Uh, Trump, President Trump in his Twitter saying that uh, China, China's uh, products invade the US. Uh, China, China is an economic invader, but uh, we didn't complain that uh, Starbucks uh, invade China. So every country, uh, every country have a Starbucks. So we welcome, yeah. And also for the iPhones, uh, and uh, for the Huawei's, uh, you know Huawei, you cannot uh, bought a Huawei beginning from, uh, to, to buy a Huawei uh, smartphone uh, from AT&T and uh, Verizon, and uh, nevertheless to see Best Buy. Uh, overnight, you couldn't. But the iPhone, you can buy uh, in, in China, in, in every store in the China Telecom, so that's also show that uh, uh, the openings of our, uh, our market to the rest of the world, uh, including the US. Uh, uh, doesn't we care about uh, the national security? We care about, but uh, we don't think uh, an iPhone have anything to do with uh, national uh, security. So. Uh, that's uh, my briefing, uh, and also we have five minutes. Uh, out of uh, uh, yeah, out of Q and A, yeah, and also uh, I just want to ask a, a question uh, to me and answer. So, does a trade war uh, be easily win by? as mentioned by President Trump. Uh, let, let us uh, learn from history. You, you know that in 1930s, uh, in 1930s, Ju July, uh, June, uh, President Hoover signed uh, the Smooth Holy uh, Tariff Act and uh, raised the tariffs to major uh, trading partner over uh, 30,000 uh, items of commodities. So what's the result? Uh, has the U.S. Uh, win or their, their trading partner win? No. Uh, that's one of the cause of uh, Great Depression uh, and the U.S. GDP dropped by 30 percent and uh, uh, the unemployment increased to 20 percent. So uh, we should learn from this uh, uh, history, I believe. Uh, China will open wider to the outside world, want to be a good partner of the US, uh, of California, of course. Uh, we feel very comfortable to working here to promoting, promoting trade in sub-national level. So the headache, headache is uh, in DC, in our embassy. <laughs> our colleagues in the embassy to facing uh, the federal government. But uh, the federal level, we believe, if we let our voice be heard, if we work together, uh, we can uh, prevent the, the trade war. Uh, thank you very much, everybody. I want to answer any questions. Yeah. So we, uh, we have uh, just a few minutes for Q&A. It's a wonderful opportunity, so uh, John has the mic. If anyone would like to ask a question of Deputy Consul General Fashi Yang, please, uh, please go ahead. This is your opportunity. Uh, we have one in the, in the back, John.
So, so while many uh, American commentators agree with you on the trade war problems, uh, there certainly is a big agreement Americans on intellectual property as a, a difficult issue. And, uh, uh, could you speak a little more about how China is going to deal with the intellectual property question? Uh, intellectual property, yes? yes? Yeah. Intellectual property. Uh, I want to share some figures. Uh, Chinese government, uh, uh, you know that uh, we try our best to protect uh, intellectual property. We are also in the process of learning since we joined the WTO. Uh, 2001, uh, China uh, bought only 1.9 billion U.S. dollar uh, intellectual property, the, the patents from the rest of, of the world, including the U.S. Uh, and the last year, uh, the number is uh, 28.6 billion U.S. dollars. Uh, and 10 years ago, uh, China's uh, uh, number of uh, registration of patents uh, is uh, quite low. It's ranking the tens. Uh, but right now, uh, last year, uh, the international patents registration by Chinese company uh, in the world uh, surpassed U.S. and Japan. Uh, we are the uh, number one. Uh, over one million patents registered. Uh, of course, we know that the quality is not, uh, uh, of course, not as high as the U.S. So you are still taking the lead in intellectual property. Uh, and also we buy a lot from the US. Uh, last year, US export of uh, patents, intellectual property, uh, the volume is uh, uh, 80 billion US dollars. And uh, China also uh, buy, uh, buy a lot. Uh, and uh, many US company, uh, uh, registered the, the patents. And the number one is Gao Tong Gong Si is uh, uh, Qualcomm. Qualcomm. Uh, and the last year, the uh, registration number of US patents in China is over uh, 20, uh, 200, uh, 20, yeah, uh, 29,000. Uh, uh, items. So uh, we will work hard to protect intellectual property. And Huawei also registered among the top 10 companies to uh, ranking the top 10 companies in the U.S. to register uh, patents, uh, intellectual property in the U.S. Uh, even in the Huawei and uh, Apple, they exchange patents, nearly 1,000 patents and intellectual property rights uh, exchanged. Yeah, it's a good cooperation. Am I answer your question? Yeah, thank you. We have one more question. I'm walking over to Dr. Bottoms from the Corps of Engineers. I just hope uh, as we, both countries face climate change and sea level rise, we have a lot of great engineering firms in here that I'm sure would love to help work with you and China on this issue. Thank you. Uh, welcome. I, this isn't really related to Corps of Engineers, just kind of more of my own interest relative to like Suzhou Industrial Park and CFDA and the, the efforts to create or develop pharmaceuticals. And that and also other disciplines or enterprises typically development or investment from the United States and Europe and other countries to create or start a company in China, you need to have a Chinese citizen, at least I'm led to believe, in charge of that company, managing that company. Uh, will you ever find yourself as a country allowing that development of an organization uh, a company to be established in China that particularly has investment uh, from overseas coming into China be run and owned by a non-Chinese citizen? Mm -hmm. uh, it's about the FDA. 
food and yeah, I know that uh, food and uh, your question is about uh, uh, whether Chinese government allow the foreign companies uh, to. Uh, uh, yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. The portion of uh, joint ventures, yeah. Uh, yes, uh, uh, in the past, uh, we insist that 50%, uh, 51% of the shares uh, be held by a Chinese counterpart uh, in the company. But uh, uh, right now, we are losing that uh, regulation, as mentioned by our president, Xi Jinping, at the Boao Forum uh, last uh, month. Uh, we will took four major steps to open wider to the outside world, uh, including uh, we're losing the shares. We will, uh, step by step, in a short period of time, eliminate uh, uh, the shares regulation. We welcome uh, the U.S. Uh, uh, automobile companies uh, to uh, control the, 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 the lion's share over 50% and even 100%. Uh, that, that's a good news for Tesla. So Tesla is very happy uh, they can uh, they will announce uh, to, to a new factory opened in China. Uh, so as our president uh, mentioned, uh, when the door open, we will not close. We will open wider to the outside world and uh, uh, to protect uh, intellectual, internet, uh, intellectual property rights of everybody uh, to welcome uh, all friends uh, to uh, to explore China market. Uh, for instance, uh, Alaska Governor uh, Walker will lead a, a delegation of 35 business uh, people uh, next week to visit China uh, in the midst of uh, the, the trade war. Yeah, uh, and then not only to sell seafood and minerals, but also uh, the natural gas. Uh, one of, I want to, I'm, I'm quite proud that uh, our consulate general in San Francisco uh, helped to uh, coordinate a big project that's uh, the natural gas uh, uh, pipeline project uh, between Alaska and uh, uh, China. Uh, the total investment is a four point, uh, uh, 43, 43 billion US dollars. That's a dream project by Alaska. And when our uh, president uh, visit uh, uh, Marago, after the Marago meeting, he fly uh, over Alaska and stop over at the airport. Our consulate general uh, working with uh, Alaska governor uh, to re request a three hour stop over, not only in the airport, but to go out Side of airport in the Cooker, Cooker's uh, hotel. They they not only have uh, meetings but also had meetings but uh, uh, also uh, uh, have dinners. Uh, that make uh, this pro project uh, possible. We are still working that. We we hope we can uh, do a big project uh, for California also. Thank you. Please join me again in thanking Deputy Consul General Le Xingong. And uh, I think uh, I have the prerogative as the president to uh, welcome you as an honorary member of the Bay Planning Coalition. Oh,